If you're a fan of the Galaxy S6, prefer to have something a bit more rugged and just so happen to be with AT&T, Samsung has a new and quite possibly better phone for you. This is the Galaxy S6 Active, and in some ways, it's a major win. Since this device is basically a Galaxy S6 in a different shell, we're going to focus this review on what makes the Active variant different. But if you'd like to check out my full review of the Galaxy S6 or comparisons to other 2015 flagships, I'll leave some links below for you. Basically, this is a Galaxy S6 with a permanent rugged waterproof case and a slightly bigger battery. The design is meant to be tougher, and as mentioned, this device carries an IP68 dust and water resistance rating. The specifications here are exactly the same as they are with the Galaxy S6. The display comes in at 5.1 inches with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 and looks just as crisp as its delicate slimmer brother. It's also packing Samsung's Exynos 7420 processor with 3GB of RAM and 32GB of internal storage, but you won't find a micro SD card slot here. The body is thicker than the Galaxy S6 with a rugged hard plastic bordering the phone and a digital camouflage look on the backside which is rubberized to provide additional grip. While the Camouflage is cool and all, I would much rather rock a matte white D-Brand skin on this bad boy. And if you want to check it out for yourself, I'll leave a link to D-Brand's website below. The backside is home to the same 16 megapixel camera, LED flash, and heart rate sensor as found on the Galaxy S6, but there's also a rear-facing speaker towards the bottom half as well. On the front, you'll notice that Samsung's traditional capacitive navigation buttons have been swapped out for something that's a bit more tactile. Unfortunately, this means that you'll be missing out on the fingerprint sensor with this device. I'm not quite sure how I feel about the button buttons, but they're definitely solid and have a nice click to them with a short vibration when pressed and will work under just about any condition. A real cool feature that comes along with this device is the active key. This little button acts as an easy way to instantly launch two apps individually with either a short press or a long press, and it even works from the lock screen. Originally, this button was mapped out to launch the Activity Zone app, which provides quick access to things like the weather, barometer, S Health, compass flashlight, and other features, but it's much better used as a shortcut key. I have the active key mapped out to launch Twitter with a short press and Periscope with a long press, and I'm a big fan of it, but honestly, there are other apps and accessories that can provide similar functionality via software or NFC, so I wouldn't make this the main reason that you purchase the S6 Active. Either way, it's a nice feature to have around. The only downside here is that if you have the active key set up to work on the lock screen, it might accidentally go off in your pocket. Quite possibly the best feature of the S6 Active is its battery capacity. If you're disappointed with the battery life on the Galaxy S6, this is an entirely different situation. The S6 Active packs a 3500 mAh non-removable battery, but I've seen at least 5 to 5.5 five hours of screen on time. Like the S6 though, this little guy also features Qi wireless charging and Quick Charge 2.0 as well. Overall, the S6 Active is a pretty nice smartphone to have around, but it's far from the prettiest device available. Most of what we have here should have been available with the Galaxy S6, especially the battery life. But unfortunately, Samsung chose to fragment things and put these features into a device that hardly anyone will buy due to its design and exclusivity on AT&T. So let me know what you think about the S6 Active down in the comment section below. Below. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave it a thumbs up as it does help out the channel a lot. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.